right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. The Grizzlies trail by 11. So on the floor for Memphis. Conley and Allen are the guard set. Zebo and Marcus All are up front. And it's Lee in at the three spot. It's Pierce with the drive. And he uses the glass on the layup. Pierce has got nine points. What a floor leader he's been at the offensive end. You know, he's done a terrific job of moving the ball around, sharing it, dispersing it, and running the show. Wizards leading by 11 to the paint. Randolph grabs the board. Randolph got his third rebound on the night. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Washington. Nene, I think, an underrated defensive player. Not a big shot blocker, but he has tremendous size and strength, and he can move laterally. So he can really move and cover the pick and roll and switch on to guards, an effective defender. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, gentlemen, Courtney Lee acquired by the Grizzlies last season in a trade with the Celtics. And his teammate Mike Conley has put it, Courtney was a huge, huge piece. People overlook him, but it's key that he's able to stretch the court for us. It gives Zach and Mark more space, and he can definitely lock up defensively. Kevin? He's been a great fit as a two-way player on the perimeter, too, Doris. Thanks. And the name for his size and agility at times somewhat disappointing in terms of rebounding the ball throughout his career actually his rebound rate has fallen steadily over the last three years maybe injury injuries a factor in that but they do need more from him on the glass taken away by Nene to the middle Pierce dishes to be Grizzly is with the rebound Conley inside the line and he didn't get quite enough under that one. You talk about the subtle decline for Nene. Is scoring efficiency, Steve, also taking a turn for the worse over the last couple seasons? Yeah, still in his early 30s. You know, age shouldn't be that big a factor for a big man, but I guess it's the accumulation of all those injuries, including his knee sprain last season, that's maybe taking a toll. For the Wizards, Serafin comes in for Gortat. And it's Otto Porter Jr. in for Pierce. Conley again, Wall. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. That's his first personal foul. John Wall is becoming very efficient running the pick and roll. He's got a nice pull up from the right elbow if the defender decides to sag off or go under the screen, and if they play up on him, he can blow right by him. So because of his finishing ability, that's a tough cover. Shots good by Lee. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Wall again. It's come. Wall attacking. Passes it to Porter. Rand Allen with the block. And the oh, oh, ridiculous. Tore it down that time. <laughs> wow, and that sort of... Showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying Clark to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Mark? <laughs> well, you know what the questions are about now. It's their defense, that's for sure. Garrett Temple has checked in for the Wizards. Sessions comes in for John Wall. Here's Beal. Makes good on the step back jumper. Beal's got seven points in the game. And they have to mix it up defensively. That was just too easy. Here's Gasol. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that. His shooting has been so good today. He may have to take it upon himself to try to get his club out of this hole. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me a bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. 
problem, at least as I look at it. Sessions passes to Beal. This one for three. And the shot is good. Ten points for him. You know, you look at the teams with the best three-point shooting last year, and some usual suspects emerge at the top. But surprisingly, the Wizards were right up there with some of the elite three-point shooting teams. Here's Temple. Good D by Lee. Well defended, and he's not someone who responds well to that kind of defensive pressure. And finish off by Gasol. That is a booming putback. Step aside, fellas. They wanted <laughs> nothing to do with him there. At least not with the ball in his hands and the rim in sight. And Seraphin throws it down. Tacks a few more points onto their lead with the town hall. Ah, that's bringing the town hard. <laughs> yes, sir. The town hard yes, sir. My yes, that one's good, and the Washington lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Gasol. The shot and game clock separated by four. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. That's good from Sessions on the assist by Nene. Sessions has got eight. Well, it's been all about pace and space with them. Tempo, the fast break points, just a huge advantage. Yeah, they've been looking to push it all the time and to get that early offense, and they're doing it well. Oh! Are you kidding me? That was a power yes. punch right yeah. there. Oh, great. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. 